Good morning, everybody. And thank you for joining me for this very special Museum Mornings video for Hanukkah. So today is the fourth day of Hanukkah. And for today's very special video, I am going to show you a recipe for making latkes. And this is such a great recipe and you can find the link to the recipe with all of the ingredients you will need in the description of this video. So I'm first going to chat through the ingredients and then I will show you how to make the latkes. So of course, when you're making latkes, you will need a couple of potatoes. So I've got some potatoes here that we can use. You're also going to need an onion. I'm using just about half an onion today, but that's only because I'm making a small amount of latkes. But of course, you can follow the recipe um, in the description to find out the exact quantities you will need and raise or lower the amounts depending on how many latkes you would like. You're also going to need an egg, a bit of flour, so I've got some flour here, some salt, some black pepper, and of course, since it's Hanukkah and we're making latkes, we need some oil. So I'm using vegetable oil today, but sunflower oil would also be okay. When you're frying, I would generally tend to use a vegetable or a sunflower oil rather than an olive oil, which tends to burn at higher temperatures. So, Let's begin with making our latkes. Now, there's a lot of difference in how people make their latkes. So the recipe that I'm going to share with you today is actually my family's recipe um, for making latkes. Now, I know that there is a big debate on whether people like to um, kind of grate their potatoes by hand or use a food processor. Now, I am a fan of hand grating the potatoes. It does take a bit of arm strength, but I really like the kind of rustic results that it gives. So I've got a grater here, and I've already started grating my potato into this bowl, and I'm just going to finish it off. So we'll just grate in the last of our potato. So it definitely is a workout for your arm to grate in the potato, but it can be a really fun thing to do with anybody who is at home with you right now, your family, um, any siblings that you have. Um, and if you have enough graters, what can be really fun is to actually give every person one grater and a couple of potatoes and have a sort of contest to see who can actually grate their potatoes the quickest. And it's just a really fun way for the whole family to be involved. Right, so I think that is good. Now I'm going to also grate in my onion. Now I'm just using a little part of an onion today because as I've mentioned, I'm not making a huge amount of latkes today. Um, but of course, if you are wanting to make more latkes than just simply up the quantities of the onion that you'll need. And of course, we all know that sometimes onions can make us cry. So you can wear kind of goggles or anything that might help you to um, kind of not cry when you are grating your onion. Right, so let's get that onion 
in with the potato. Excellent. So I'll just show you what I've got here at the moment. So if you take a look into my bowl, you can see I've got kind of lots of different, lots of potato and onion. So now this next step is really important when making latkes. And to do this, you need a clean tea towel. And please do make sure that it is clean for this. What we're going to do is we're actually going to take the grated potato and onion mixture that we just made and pop it into the tea towel. Now, what we need to do um, is to actually try to get as much water as we can out of the potatoes and the onions. And this is a really important step. So don't skip this step. Um, it's really important that uh, for when you're frying and so that you have crispy latkes. So what I'm going to do is I tend to just um, kind of plop it all in the middle and I tend to just kind of roll up the tea towel and I make sure that there's two ends that I can hold on to. So um, you've got the kind of uh, potato and onion there in the middle, and you can see already quite a bit of water is coming through. So I've got another bowl here, and you can do this over a bowl, or you can do this over your sink, whichever is easier. And you just kind of twist your um, hands in opposite direction and squeeze. You can see, um, I'll turn this way so you can see a bit better. You can see kind of lots of liquid that's just pouring out of the potato and the onion mixture and really try to get as much of this out as you can. And you can definitely ask an adult to help you for this bit if you need to. So I like to kind of twist my hands in opposite directions first one way and then twist them in the other direction as well, just to try to ensure that I have everything out and you can give it a squeeze, just kind of try different angles with it and do the best that you can to really squeeze all the water out of the potato and onion mixture. Okay, so once that's done, you can pop the potato and onion mixture back into your bowl and you'll be able to kind of see um, that it's a lot firmer actually. Um, so I've squeezed out a lot of the water and it's actually kind of a lot drier, which is really good. Great. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add um, a bit of flour into this bowl and one egg. Now the flour and the egg really help the latka mixture to kind of bind together really nicely and form those nice potato pancakes that we all love. And our egg. And don't forget that you can ask an adult to help you. Now I'm going to show you a little trick with cracking your egg because obviously we don't want to get any bits of eggshell into our latkes. And usually we all tend to kind of crack the egg on the side of the bowl, but actually that um, can um, put some of the eggshell into the bowl. So I actually recommend that you crack your egg on a flat surface. And you can be quite forceful with it. And by cracking it on a flat surface, um, it's more of a clean break. So you won't get any shell. So there we go. I'm just going to pop, whoops, unless you're like me and you drop some, some shell. But there we go. I'm going to um, crack the egg right into my bowl there. Now, next, we need to season to make sure that our latkes taste delicious. So I'm going to use 
about a teaspoon of salt. So I've got a kind of little measuring uh, bit here and I'm gonna pop some salt in and then I will do a couple grinds of freshly ground black pepper. Now at this point, you could add in any other seasonings that you'd like. Um, if you want kind of paprika in your latkes or you want to do a bit of a twist and add maybe some za'atar. So you can really get creative and put any kind of herbs and seasonings that you would like, some chopped parsley, um, you can really get creative at this point. But for today, I'm just going to keep mine quite simple and um, have that just with salt and pepper. So now comes a really fun bit. It's the mixing. And personally, I like to do this with my hands. Okay, so I'm going to just dive right in and get really kind of get all up in there, just mush everything together until it's all combined and incorporated and everything is nice and mixed all together. Right, so once you've got your latka mixture all mixed together, it's time to shape our latkes and then fry them off. So I'm just going to quickly rinse my hands and get ready to shape. Okay, there we go. So to shape your latkes, I like to use a spoon and a fork. Now I've got a frying pan here on a medium heat. You don't want to cook the latkes at too high of a temperature because what you risk happening is you risk burning the outside of the latkes before the middle is cooked. So do keep it on a medium heat. Now, what I'm going to do is just to take a small amount, kind of one spoonful, of my latka mixture, okay? And I'm going to put it straight in the pan. Now I've already got oil in my pan and it might spit a little bit when you're popping the latka in. So I would definitely recommend asking an adult to help you when you're actually getting down to cooking your latkas. So there we go, we've got the latka in the pan and I'm just going to push it down using my fork um, to try to even it out and make sure that it's the same thickness all the way around. Okay, so there we have the latka frying away in the pan and I can already see the edges of the latka starting to brown. So do be patient um, before you flip. You want to make sure that the first side is nice and golden before you flip over onto the other side. So while we're waiting for our latkes to cook, I have just a couple of questions for you. And you can answer these by either popping your response in the comments below, or you can share your responses with whoever you are watching this video with at home. So I'm wondering if you know why Jewish people eat latkes during Hanukkah. So again, pop your answers in the chat or share with the person next to you. So we eat latkes during Hanukkah because latkes are fried in oil. And it's a tradition during Hanukkah to eat foods that are fried in oil, such as latkes. 
Do you know why we eat foods that are fried in oil on Hanukkah? And once again, of course, you can pop your answers in the chat below or just chat with someone who is at home. So it's traditional to eat foods that are fried in oil on Hanukkah because of course we are remembering the miracle of the oil lasting for eight days and eight nights in the temple. And this is really the basis for Hanukkah, remembering the miracle of that oil. And that is why we tend to eat fried foods. So I've got my spatula here and I'm going to just check my latka to see if it is ready to flip. Okay, and definitely get an adult to help you with this bit. And it is ready, so I'm going to flip my latka over and you can see here um, that it's nice and golden brown on this side. So I'm just going to let it cook a few minutes on the other side. And it's important to know as well that um, the more latkes that you have in a pan at once, the longer they will take to cook because the heat is being dispersed a little bit. Um, and also as the as you kind of continue to cook your latkes, the oil will get hotter. So um, they might take kind of less time the more that you're making. You also want to continue to check um, the level of oil that you have in the pan because sometimes the latkes actually can soak up a lot of oil. So you want to make sure that the oil doesn't go too low and you need to keep checking to see if you need to add any more oil to the pan. Now, I recommend cooking your latkes maybe about three to four minutes per side. But of course, that might depend on the type of stove that you have, on how many latkes you're cooking at once. Um, so really do kind of keep checking in with your latke and making sure um, that it's ready. Once it's gone golden brown, that is usually the signal that it's ready to be flipped or ready to eat. So um, latkes are actually one of my favorite foods to eat during Hanukkah. And growing up, my family would have a Hanukkah party every year. And my dad would always be standing over the stove making the latkes and we would eat them with some really yummy chicken and salads as well. So every time I make latkes, I make them every year. And it always reminds me of the fun times that I had with my family and friends during Hanukkah. And even though this year it's going to be a little bit different to celebrate Hanukkah, since we might not be able to be with all of the people we love, um, but we can perhaps do, you can do perhaps a latka making party um, kind of virtually, if that's something that you think might be fun. So let's check in with our latka and see if it's ready. So I'm just going to flip it back over. I think it's just about ready. I'm going to give it maybe 30 seconds more. And what you want to do um, once your latka is finished is you want to kind of drain the oil off the latka. You can do this either just by simply putting it on a plate with a piece of kitchen towel so some of the oil dries, um, kind of drips off. Now, if you are making lots of latkas, and you want them to stay warm, I recommend just turning your oven onto a low heat. And you can, as you make the latkes, you can kind of put them on a nice platter and in the oven to keep warm until you're ready to serve. It shouldn't affect the flavor too much. So I'll just show you 
the, the latka that I made. It's quite hot. So I'm just going to find the best way to show it to you. So there we go. There's, there's our latka that we just made. You can see it's really golden brown and it looks absolutely delicious. Now, different people like to eat their latkas in different ways. So you can eat it with sour cream, you could eat it with applesauce, you could have it with um, kind of a yogurt or a tahini, whatever you fancy. Um, but I'm just going to try my latka as is to see if it's nice. Here we go. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. It's crispy. It's oily. It's comforting. It's exactly what I want in a latka when I make them. So I hope that you have been inspired by this latka making video to have a go at home with whoever you are with, to have a go at making these latkes. And once again, you can find the recipe in the description of this video. And I hope that you enjoy them as much as I have. And as always, you can, we would love for you to see the latkes you make. So feel free to take a photograph of your latkes and post them on social media with an adult's permission using at Jewish Museum LDN. And you can of course use the hashtag museum mornings so that we are able to see. So that's all um, from me for now. And I wish you a Hanukkah Sameach and a happy Hanukkah. Bye.